As parents are straining to find solutions in Newton, kids have now missed four days of school because of the teacher strike, and there doesn't seem to be any end in sight. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. We do know the two sides have been talking throughout the day. WBZ's Beth Germano is live for us in Newton tonight. Beth, teachers still have a lot of support, it seems, but it is a stress on families. Mm. And the longer the strike goes on, that stress only grows. Both sides remain here at the Newton Education Center, still trying to hammer out an agreement. But as parents scramble, teachers got some high-level support today. 11-year-old Henry Bennett is spending more time with his grandparents this week as they pitch in to help with child care. Hello, it's wonderful to be here. While his mother, Rachel, continues to work from home. I'm so lucky that I have my parents here. They've come every day um, to support, and my, and my husband's mom is also helping as well, taking Henry out on the train. The Newton teacher strike has left parents with a juggling act. We want to stir the eggs right here. The Bennetts moved to Newton for its programs to help students like Henry with disabilities. Some of his teachers among the lowest paid that the union is fighting for. To fund these programs, to fund our kids, our kids who have a right to accessible, rigorous education, then again, we're in full support of the teachers. Teachers are now in day four of their strike, saying there are no signs of progress in the negotiations over issues like pay, more classroom support, and mental health staff, and could face up to $200,000 in fines by Thursday. If we run out of money, we run out of money. We're not about money. We don't care We're talking about money. We need them to show us the money. But I'm not here simply because I value your labor. I'm here because I give a damn about your lives. <laughs> And they got some strong support from Congresswoman Ayanna Presley, who rallied with the teachers while also insisting there is outside pressure on the negotiations. Lines of communication are open. I, I've been in touch with all the relevant stakeholders, and I'll continue to be. In the meantime, the Bennetts are piecing together their own support staff. Rachel Bennett saying it's not the first time. We had a trial run with the shutdown during the pandemic, and so we kind of know how to make all this work. <laughs> And with no signs of progress, there are only so many snow days built into the calendar. So how will time be made up if necessary? We'll have more on that at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from Newton, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. All right, Beth, thank you.